Over the age of 50, coffee can leave a permanent mark on the brain. Some folks over 60 never get to fully enjoy their golden years. They envision living an adventurous life, eating exotic foods they'd never before tried, and traveling the world with their significant other. However, many 60-year-olds are living a life that makes them feel less like they're in the driver's seat and more stuck in the mud. Due to mild memory issues, trouble staying focused, and a loss of that mental sharpness and pep in the step they had enjoyed throughout life, especially after years of hard work and sacrifice in order to secure a successful career, start a beautiful family, and become part of a community. The golden years, we call it that because it should be the best part of our lives. So why aren't they? The mild memory decline, lack of youthful energy, feeling less and less like ourselves, is it really just part of getting older, as we hear so often? The answer may not be so simple. Because the issues I've described aren't always about the changing hormones, appearances, and physical endurance associated with age. So what is it? Well, as a doctor and brain health specialist, I can tell you the real reason why the golden years can be unfulfilling is due to declining brain health. Mild memory loss, irritability, loneliness, fear of becoming less independent. These are the things that can really affect us as we age. Yet the good news is, the brain is completely different from the body. What I mean is the body is subject to the normal wear and tear of everyday life and over decades and decades of use, it takes its toll. Joints can stiffen, muscles can lose their strength, skin can begin to loosen and lose its firmness. The truth is, to a certain degree, the body is unable to reclaim the strength and quickness it had years ago. But the brain is different from the body. The brain, in fact, can return to its sharp, agile self much faster than people think. So pay close attention to every word in this video, because I'm going to explain the fastest way anyone can live in the prime of their life, again, regardless of age. To show how it's done, we need a little bit of help from our ancestors. See, our late relatives had strong dynamic brains and rarely encountered neurological issues. Today is quite different. Just look at these CAT scans. This is the brain of a 60-year-old in 1972. This is the brain of a 60-year-old in 2020. While they look roughly the same to an untrained eye, there's one major difference. A section of the brain called the Hippocampus is much smaller for the modern 60-year-old brain. This section of the brain has many functions, though its top priority is to store memories. As the hippocampus gets smaller, our ability to store memories does as well. This leads to those senior moments, forgetting the names of friends and family, struggling with a crossword puzzle that used to take no time at all, even remembering where the darn keys are, and much more. Yet there's good news. New Harvard research suggests the hippocampus can grow back much faster than it can shrink. And here's the really great part. It doesn't involve exercise or any big lifestyle changes. Instead, it's just one small change that takes only seconds a day and can help improve life after 60 significantly. Stronger memory, recall, better focus, more pep in the step, and ability to recall names and dates quickly and an overall renewed sense of self. However, this technique has remained a secret for the oldest reason of all, money. Almost all of the wealth of America belongs to those 60-year-olds and over. And the healthcare industry wants this age demographic to think they must spend a lot of their hard-earned money on unnecessary prescriptions, just to keep their wits about them. Yet I'm not going to let that happen. And today I'm returning my back on the industry I've been a part of for almost 50 years. And spilling a whole can of beans. My colleagues won't like this. However, that's just too bad. Because today I will share the research back method that helps to grow the hippocampus without any surgeries, meds, or anything invasive whatsoever. First, I need to explain how a strong hippocampus can make life great after 60. Because aging should be a great joy, full of new adventures, exploring passions, 
and soak in in everything life has to offer. It should not be a burden. However, if we don't have a healthy hippocampus like our ancestors did, there are other potential issues besides those little senior moments we often joke about. And unfortunately, what I'm about to show is no laughing matter. Here's the three top reasons why we need a healthy hippocampus. Number one, mood swings. Feeling unwanted, sadness, negative thoughts, and other depressive tendencies are nothing new. People have had them for thousands of years, yet it seems to be getting worse. Why? New research out of the Healthy Aging Research Center has discovered persistent feelings of dejection and impaired mood can be primarily caused by a shrinking hippocampus. Everyone has their ups and downs. However, the hippocampus helps manage swings in emotions. During the downtimes, the hippocampus should regulate sad thoughts and help balance them with happy thoughts. Yet when happier memories can't be recalled, the brain can only focus on the sad thoughts. This affects the personality, and these changes affect not only us, but the people we're closest to as well. We tend to tell people to just cheer up or get some fresh air. Yet these issues may require something more than an attitude adjustment. In medicine, we call this acute hippocampus decline. And it is a gradual decline until it can feel nearly impossible to switch to happy memories, it's imperative that we maintain ability to balance these negative feelings with the happy thoughts that warm the heart and protect our sense of self. Number two, increased feelings of anxiousness, frustration, and anger. When it comes to those moments of feeling completely overwhelmed, most people have it all wrong. We typically think it's from working too much or worrying about externalities, but the hippocampus plays a huge role in managing these feelings. Anxiousness, frustration, anger, these feelings are unavoidable. However, when the hippocampus shrinks, these feelings can become much more serious and personal. Think about it like this. There are some people who no matter what life seems to throw at them, can still remain cool as a cucumber. Yet there are others who can flip a switch and become tense, irritable, and frankly rather unpleasant with only a minor inconvenience. Why? Well, again, it's not always because of a person's choices or a naturally short fuse. It could be because of a shrinking hippocampus. A strong hippocampus filters out those feelings of anxiousness, frustration, and anger. Just like how an air filter in a car removes unwanted dirty air. Without it, we would be riding in a car filled with dirty air all day. Imagine how bad living would be if the dust, dirt, and pollution stayed in the home all day. Even your furnace would choke from the stress. Well, the same thing goes on in the brain. The hippocampus is the filter we need to keep the atmosphere clean, crisp, and pleasant. Number three, creativity declines. Pablo Picasso said every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once we grow up. And while that may sound like baloney to some, science actually agrees with this statement. Although imagination doesn't live in the hippocampus, recent neuroimaging work has demonstrated that the hippocampus is engaged when imagining the future and the past. As we get older and the hippocampus shrinks, it becomes harder to remain an artist, just as Picasso said. And please don't be too quick to say, well, I'm not an artist, so this doesn't apply to me at all. I'm not simply talking about painters and musicians. We all utilize and rely on our creativity and imagination every day. How so? Easy. Laughing requires imagination. Telling stories requires imagination. Putting up the Christmas tree requires imagination. Cooking requires imagination. I can go on and on. All of our happy moments are bound to imagination. It's essential in a way all of our happy moments live in the hippocampus. It doesn't matter if we consider ourselves artists or not. Creativity and imagination leads to a happy life. Now, the unfortunate part is most of these symptoms we've discussed often go misdiagnosed. And the end result, we take all sorts of medications and go through all sorts of therapies in an attempt to manage these problems. 
Yet in the end, a shrinking hippocampus can have a noticeable impact on our golden years. Naturally, the question now becomes, why is it shrinking and how can we get it to grow again? Well, think of the brain a little bit like a turtle in its shell. The shell provides the turtle with an impenetrable defense. Their unique evolutionary design allows them to live up to hundreds of years without being touched by predators. The brain is similar, and humans have multiple different defense systems to protect the brain. There's the skull, cerebral spinal fluid, nerve fibers, and much more keeping the brain strong, well into our golden years. So we're safe, right? Not so fast because our body's defenses started to change the same time our food did. What most people don't realize is that our food has changed more the last 50 years than the last 50,000 years. One of the biggest changes has been the artificial flavor industry. Instead of eating foods with natural flavors like we used to, food companies use artificial flavors to give foods a synthetic yet practically irresistible taste. Artificial flavors are not only cheaper, but they make foods much more addictive as well. No wonder that box of store-bought cookies is so hard to put down. This has caused all sorts of health problems, including extra weight, excess blood sugar, nutrient deficits, and much more. However, most people don't realize how these artificial ingredients affect the brain. Many of these artificial flavors work so well because they travel through the blood-brain barrier and actually enter the brain right near the hippocampus. And of all the artificial flavors to watch out for, one stands out as particularly worrisome. It's called diacetyl. Diacetyl is typically found in microwave popcorn to give it its buttery flavor. I won't lie, diacetyl makes anything taste amazing. However, that's only because it can travel through the blood-brain barrier, the brain's main defense against foreign pollutants. Each time we eat foods containing diacetyl, the blood-brain barrier gets weaker. And breaking new research from the University of BC has found new evidence suggesting neurological problems don't even start in the brain. The lead researcher, Dr. Song, has discovered neurological issues start when the blood-brain barrier declines. And when this happens, all sorts of unnatural chemicals can make their way into the brain and form what is called amyloid plaque. These plaques end up fighting for space in the brain's memory center. And slowly but surely, it can become more difficult to remember things, more difficult to keep an upbeat, positive attitude, more difficult to fight through small agitations that can ruin entire days. It can be harder to find that good mood feeling, which can make it very hard to truly enjoy life after 60. It's a very slow and gradual process. And unfortunately, I've seen it in many patients. Yet the good news is, thanks to what I'm about to share, I've seen patients fight back against a shrinking hippocampus and absolutely thrive in their golden years with a memory that stays razor sharp, an upbeat positive attitude, and a zest for life they can't stop raving about. Because as it turns out, the hippocampus can grow back as fast as it can shrink. We've actually known about this for at least half a decade. Before I was a clinical brain health specialist, I worked to develop nutrition for the NASA astronaut program. In space, the brain is constantly shrinking due to the microgravity. So it becomes a great nutritional challenge to prevent this. And back then, we had the full support of the American government, not to mention a huge research budget to provide as much support to the astronauts' brains. Remember, in space, there's no help. Those astronauts are more on their own than most of us could even imagine. Just one senior moment or slip of the mind could compromise the mission and put the entire crew in jeopardy. This is why I said those senior moments were no laughing matter. So getting the brain, all of its nutritional requirements, was one of the higher mission priorities. And through hard work, endless research, and more than a few sleepless nights at our lab, we eventually went on to a discovery that changed everything. A discovery that has allowed me to help thousands of patients improve their memory and has brought me here today. It's what we come to call the memory molecules of the youth. 
Specific nutrients shown to boost memory and overall cognitive function for our brain astronauts. Soon after, we put these nutrients into a convenient energy bar for the astronauts in order to keep their minds sharp while performing the heroic duties in space. Now, after my time with NASA, I continued my clinical practice where I became a world-renowned brain health specialist. And I couldn't believe how many folks suffer from the same problems those astronauts had while in space. Fortunately, the solution here on Earth is much simpler. Folks over 60 may just need to regrow their hippocampus. So, I started recommending the same ingredients from the energy bar to my patients. And it was incredible how many of them came back with the news that they couldn't believe how big a difference it made. They felt fewer feelings of anxiousness and frustration. They could remember simple things better, like names, dates, and past events. And best of all, the first time they felt happy to be the age they are. That's when it really hit me. Absolutely, everyone over the age of 60 needs a defense against a shrinking hippocampus, a chance to live life on their terms to maintain their sense of independence, to wake up feeling sharp, quick-witted, and ready to soak up everything life has to offer. That's when my researching team went back to the drawing board to make the formula specifically for folks over 60. We added nutrients such as ginkgo biloba, which has been used extensively for centuries as an effective treatment for circulatory issues and to enhance memory. The leaves of the ginkgo biloba contain glycosides, and terpenoids, which are known to help improve the blood-brain barrier. Remember, a weakened blood-brain barrier could be one of the main contributors to a shrinking hippocampus. And without improving blood flow, other unwanted chemicals can continue to pass through. Yet ginkgo stops that. Our research team studied over 350 herbs to find out which ones work, which ones don't, and which ones lead to long and lasting results. That not only increases the hippocampus, but could help those over 60 feel sharper almost instantly. After years of studying these herbs, we modified the original energy bar quite a bit. And through our trial and error, we found these herbs to be more effective in pill form. At Vitality Now, we call these the youthful brain molecules. We combined them into a single pill form, something that was easy to swallow, yet also effective. We spent countless hours testing, evaluating, and testing again, obsessing over the quality, purity, and bioavailability of these ingredients. And once we perfected the formula, we started testing it to small groups of willing participants and had tremendous success. People were telling me that my formula worked better than their meds, coffee, and pretty much everything else they were taking. With this brand new heavily researched solution, participants reported less senior moments, enhanced focus, and an overall stronger feeling brain. Those feelings of tension were more manageable and no longer ruined entire days. My patients were living the life they always thought they would after retirement. It wasn't long before I started getting hundreds of requests for the youthful brain molecules every week because people were in shock at how it was changing lives. After years of perfecting the production process, we are thrilled to share for the first time to the general public, Youthful Brain, because that's exactly what it does. It's a lot like having a youthful brain again, but don't take our word for it. Listen to what others are saying. Hello? Hello, is this Cynthia? Oh, yes, it is. Uh, Cynthia, Dr. Sam Walters. I'm calling about an email you sent. Oh, okay, yes. Well, you know, we have literally thousands of really great testimonials, but I think the thing that really caught our eye with yours is that we support veterans, and your dad is a veteran, it sounds like. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. He fought in World War II. Tell your dad that all of us here say we appreciate you. Thank you for your service to the country. Thank you. I'll tell him. <laughs> He'll be very happy to hear that. Yeah, I noticed you said that your father had almost immediate results, and I guess, you know, we'd kind of like to know, uh, how soon did you notice results once your dad started taking youthful brain? Yes, well, I, I can say unequivocally that we had noticed improvement within a couple of days, and that was remarkable. Um, he became more engaged in wanting to talk about his old friends, and 
started remembering friends from when he was really young and he remembered everybody's name, where they lived. He was even remembering addresses, people's homes, or where he lived, his home address, and then the names of his teachers and classmates and it was it's remarkable. So all that started to come back. Uh, Cynthia, how long has your father been taking the youthful brain now? Probably two years, two years. So we have not seen a decline. Uh, he's managed to maintain um, where he was at a better level. In other words, we believe that uh, his cognition improved and then it's maintained that state. And I think youthful brain made a big difference. Can you kind of describe how your father was just before he started taking the uh, youthful brain? He was, he would drift and he would start a sentence and then try to finish it, but not really be able to. And sometimes his sentences were circular. So he'd start something and then say something and then he would want to say more, but then he would forget kind of where he was. And so to go from that to, I just was, we were just thrilled to see the old dad kind of be there. And he is. He reads Shakespeare. He still recites Shakespeare. I mean, he had sort of drifted away from all that. And it's back. So, and it's sustained. And it hasn't declined. And that's the amazing thing to me. We, he's maintained that for a couple of years. Um, he was able to go to my son's graduation, loved it, sat in the front row, remembered everything that happened. Um, we would not have been able to do that two years ago. So he became more engaging and the result is that he became more fun to be around. And I think it's remarkable when something can slow down the decline that happens. And we're really grateful. Well, we we appreciate the fact and that you're And he does great. not take any other he does not take any other medication by the way. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty proud neither of my parents do. Well, we thank you and we appreciate you so much and uh, you know, God bless the whole family and I pray your father stays around for another 91 years. I hope so. Well, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. I am a believer in your product. So I don't do this very often, but I am a believer. <laughs> um, good luck to you and appreciate your reaching out. Okay, dear. Have a good day. Thank you very much. You take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. So, how can I try youthful brain for myself? Great question. To be honest, it's actually still very difficult for most people to get their hands on youthful brain. The ingredients we use must be cultivated in a sterile, state-of-the-art facility then kept fresh through a proprietary process. This is something that only very few manufacturers in the entire world have the technology to do correctly. Additionally, because youthful brain can help increase the hippocampus, pretty much everyone who uses it keeps on asking for more of the stuff because everyone wants to live better after 60. And as word continues to spread, youthful brain is also becoming extremely popular in Europe which is putting even more of a strain on production, especially since it takes up to three months to custom create each batch. And because youthful brain is expensive to manufacture, it takes up to three months to produce a single batch and keep selling out. I frequently don't have any youthful brain available for folks. That being said, I also don't want anyone to suffer from the discomfort, embarrassment, and fear of having a poorly working brain which is why in the next few moments, I'll share how you can get your own bottle of Youthful Brain as part of our brand new Better Brain program. Another question I frequently get, how much Youthful Brain do you need to take? That's simple, just take a capsule each day for at least 30 days. The reason it's important to take Youthful Brain for at least 30 days is pretty straightforward. While the ingredients inside go to work almost immediately, they can help improve the issues with the blood-brain barrier. This takes some time, which is why I strongly recommend my patients take it for at least 180 days. Otherwise, all the progress could be for nothing. Without the 180-day supply, the body may not have built up its defense against a shrinking hippocampus. And we all know how important that is. 
Another serious problem I want to address is our supply chain. Right now, Youthful Brain is severely backordered due to international demand relying on key ingredients from high security facilities that could go back to lockdown status any day. That means supplies could run out before maximum results are noticed and that would be a shame. Considering millions of Americans over 60 are struggling right now, Youthful Brain runs out of stock frequently. My biggest fear is if someone were to buy less than the 180 day supply and the hippocampus returns back to the norm after their supply runs out, only to find that we're completely out of stock for the next order, this would be the worst situation because all their progress would be for nothing. This is why I highly recommend you pick up the four bottles risk-free right now. And it's important to know Youthful Brain is only available here and only while there are supplies in stock. Why risk it? Be proactive. Order Youthful Brain today. Don't hesitate. Say yes. Youthful Brain is what I believe could be the only real chance to naturally fight against a shrinking hippocampus and get the benefits starting today. This is an absolute no-brainer because each purchase is also covered by our 60-day 100% money-back guarantee. It works like this. Begin using Youthful Brain now and discover why so many folks are completely changing their lives. But if for any reason the experience of Youthful Brain isn't absolutely perfect, simply email or call my US-based customer service team 24-7 and we will immediately refund the purchase. No questions asked. The best part, you don't even need to send the bottles back. It's a 100% risk-free investment. Tap the button below and grab yours.